On the outside, Dobbins. The failure. They're 30 seconds. They're so early. Yeah, they're early. You need to have your lane established prior to that exit pin right there, that yellow buoy off turn number two. Now, Fast Eddie. Does he have the boat lengths? I don't think he'll make that maneuver. 15 seconds until the start. They're going to creep and crawl to the South Central Bank start finish line buoy here at the two and a half start North American Championship. Five, four, three, two, one. Mark, it appears to be a clean start. We're racing. Hearn is well back at the start. And Kevin Crankser leads him across the line in Duncan Oil. And now Fast Eddie Canfush on the inside, shorter way around, and Canfush takes the lead, and John, it looks like Hearn has a problem at the yeah, 14. Something going on with Hearn all the way back there in fifth position, but Eddie Canfush off the exit of turn number two. He is your leader, but Kreitzer is right there in that radically designed 67 down the back trip. They are side by side, basically, for the lead down here in the turn number two. North American Championship Final from Grand Island, New York. It's Eddie Campus. He'll turn left first, come through the apex of turn number two. Coming around a complete lap there. What Fabro's in there as well, Jeff. Campus, your leader. Fabro in second. Cripes are in third. Your favorite on paper, John. Look at him real quickly. He's got a problem. I believe there's a malfunction with the skin fin by that frantic water spray. We'll come down to complete lap number one of three in the North Americans in two and a half stock, and Eddie Canfush out in front, making a two rooster tail advantage over Carson Fabro in Fabro Racing. Kevin Cranks are in third in Duncan Oil, and John, you see her right in front of you. What do you think? Yeah, I don't know. It could be runner flutter or something, but he is really struggling to get the boat through the corner. Something definitely in this. And that legacy one too is current just now off the exit of turn number two. About one and a half in, two and a half to go here in our North American Championship final. And it's Eddie Campus down the back stretch with a sizable two full Rooshdale advantage. But we're talking about Fabra running back in second position. And misbehaving the S50. Eddie Campus through the apex of two coming around a complete lap two. 19 years of age, his rookie season driving. And Val Hearn is coming to the infield, and he's going to call it a day in Legacy One. Just the exit pin. We'll come down. We're we'll halfway through it. Two complete, two to go. Eddie can push in front. Daylight Hydraulics misbehaves. Make it a four rooster tail advantage over Carson Fabro in Fabro Racing. Third to Kevin Crankser in Duncan Oil. Bauman Family CE Engineering, Jeff Dovis Trails and in Doc Blaster, and John, my heart goes out to uh, Grant Hearn. He was the favorite coming in here. Tremendous racer, and what a time to have a bad break like that in the final, but it is racing. That seems to be the motto this year for the Hearn Motorsport Series. Have a great weekend coming in. Be ready to go, and if something happens in the final, that 14 boat. It's happened a couple times this year. But it's all about Eddie Canfush here. He'll come off the exit of two and bring him to the white. Dan Fush off turn number two. His spotter, I mentioned his father, Dan Canfush. Dynamite one liter pilot in his racing days. And now, both down, giving his both son an opportunity to drive. Four, He's with a good camp, the GP15 team out of Grand Island, New York. Dan Fush in front. One more lap to go to claim the North Americans at the Owensboro Hydro Fair presented by Jago Home. Carson Fabro in second. Jeff Dovis in third, and now John, problem with the conventional boat of Kevin Kreitzer, he's slowed in the fourth spot, but Eddie Canfish, one half a lap away to victory. Half a lap away from the North American This is white flag, right? The S-15. Yes, yes, it is. Yes, it is. So just bring it around. The sponsored S-15 comes up. through turn number two. About a half a straightaway advantage over top of Carson Fabro. But Jeff Heller, I called his first victory. You call his North American Championship. Thank you, John Tommy. Final turn, final lap. Fast Eddie Canfish, 19 years of age out of Western New York State. Sees the South Central Bank start finish line.